In one of our previous videos, we covered hydroelectric power generation. But let's not forget the fact that we are still highly dependent on thermal and nuclear power plants. Coal is the primary fossil fuel we burn in thermal power plants to generate heat. And this burning of coal produces large amounts of carbon dioxide. While some of the carbon dioxide produced is absorbed by whatever little green cover we have left on the planet, most of it is left in the atmosphere, causing global warming. One of the ways to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere is carbon capture and storage. The carbon dioxide is liquefied and stored in underground reservoirs several kilometers below the surface of the Earth. These are typically depleted reservoirs of oil and natural gas. Due to the high pressure at such depths and impermeable layers of rock, the gas remains in its liquid state. Whereas in carbon capture and utilization, the carbon dioxide can also be converted into other products such as carbon neutral fuels. Aside from gaseous forms of waste, coal power plants also produce solid forms of waste called coal ash. Once the organic compounds in the fuel are burnt, the leftover inorganic compounds get left behind at the bottom of the chamber. This is called bottom ash. Some of this ash gets mixed with the gases and this is called fly ash. Fly ash can easily be separated from the gas by filtering it out. The coal ash is filtered out and stored in landfills to prevent it from getting released into the atmosphere and causing health problems. Coal ash can also be mixed with concrete, cutting out cement from the process. While nuclear sources of fuel are a much cleaner alternative to coal because they don't release carbon dioxide directly into the atmosphere, they still have their challenges in terms of waste disposal because of the radioactive nature of this waste. Depending on the levels of radioactivity, nuclear waste is usually divided as low, intermediate and high level waste. Low level waste, as the name suggests, has very low radioactivity. For example, when the reactor water comes in contact with the nuclear fuel, the waste that is generated from reprocessing this water is contaminated. Such waste can be stored in pits and does not require shielding while handling. Intermediate level waste, on the other hand, does require shielding because of the high level of radioactivity but does not need to be cooled. High level nuclear waste is essentially spent nuclear fuel and the waste generated from reprocessing this fuel. But one thing we need to remember is that the radioactivity of this spent fuel reduces with time and after a point it becomes non-hazardous. But it doesn't matter whether we use nuclear fuels or fossil fuels. The best alternative to generating electricity is renewable energy.